welcome back. Dustin Yost here. We're on the show floor of the NAM Show 2018. I am joined by Ralph, who is Director of Operations for Eastman Music Company. Ralph, how are you doing this afternoon? Very good, thank you. Nice good. to be here. Yeah, thanks for having us. So tell us more about the line of 52nd Street saxophones, because uh, they've really started to take off within the last couple months. What makes these horns so special? So the original design concept behind the 52nd Street was um, a lot of people were really going after a certain sound in saxophone production, specifically going after the Mark VI. That's kind of been like the holy grail of saxophones. Uh, so we decided to kind of take a different route. Um, a lot of people also have been kind of going back to the older Con and uh, King saxophones of uh, the old kind of American vintage made saxophones. So we've said, you know, rather than trying to go with this, what everyone else is doing, what about this whole other concept of sound, which is kind of a more wide, um, fuller, richer, uh, darker sound um, that was, you know, the characteristic of the old vintage American saxophones. So that's where we went, all right, what, what could we do to what we already had, which was our 640 line, and change it in a way that it would kind of help pr reproduce that type of sound. So yeah, very cool. So what what are the main features of this horn that make it different from maybe other horns on the market? So specifically, it's unlacquered. Um, that we found gives a certain characteristic that kind of frees up the sound a little bit with the lacquer and the silver plating or other types of finishes they put on instruments. It actually adds surface tension, which kind of does something where it kind of brings the sound in, whereas this kind of lets it more go out. It, it, it kind of gives a bigger full fullness to the range of the of the tone itself, and then uh, we also put a big bell on it. That was a feature from some of the old American saxophones, and we also have soldered ring, uh, soldered uh, tone hole rings on it. So we found within a combination of all those three things, we got what we were looking for, which is that kind of bigger old vintage American saxophone vibe sound. Very cool. Well, thank you so much, Ralph, for your time today. We appreciate it. Uh, if you guys have any other questions uh, about this horn, just leave them in the comments below. Uh, again, Ralph, thank you. Enjoy the rest of NAM. Appreciate it.